As every year, the 2008 Bologna Motor Show belongs to the highlights on the calendar of world automotive events. Even if the auto year is reaching a close, Bologna had many interesting and important new products to admire. Like the new Mazda 3. In Bologna, it was a world premiere for the five-door car, so popular in Europe. It impresses with its fresh new look, with a trendy large air intake and flowing lines. That's what the new Mazda Zoom Zoom feeling is all about. The second big world premiere was celebrated by the new Golf Plus. Only two months after the Golf 6, the successful Golf Plus comes out in a new version. And it has really been worth the wait. The Maxi Golf has been improved in many ways and shines with quite remarkable fuel efficiency and a more sparkling appearance. A dazzling appearance is also what was made by the Study R of the latest Scirocco model. Derived from the victorious race car at the 24 hours at the Nürburgring, this could presage the coming top version of the Scirocco. Audi is also in Italy, especially bedazzling the younger crowd. A good reason for showing off the study of the next generation Audi A1 in Bologna. On display at the Ford stand, the new Ford Ka, here in a particularly sassy color combination. At the Toyota Lexus stand, there's a whole host of new highlights on display. Well, on the Lexus side, we have uh, a facelift of the IS, which is rather important for us because we have a sort of mini boom here with IS in Italy. On the Toyota side, we have the all new IQ, which we're going to launch in January into this market. And we've already had some incredible feedback from the general public, but also from our dealers. And the contract collecting is in full, full flesh and full speed. In April, we will have the new Avensis launched here in Italy, which for the first time will give us a big entry into the D segment, where currently we are rather small. At the same time, we will have new versions of Igo, Yaris and RAV4. These are the segments where we are strongest in Italy at the moment and where we want to maintain or expand our position amongst the segment leaders. For Italy, Porsche is also a dream car. Here are the new Cayman and Boxster models. Bologna is well known for its outdoor exhibition areas with loads of shows. Here a Range Rover being submitted to a load test. And a Fiat 500 Up Art on a racetrack inside the fairgrounds. This is only training before the gates of the show open to the public. Mercedes-Benz also put on a smashing show. The Italian market is also of great importance to the company from Stuttgart. Proof is a dream car they brought along, the McLaren 722 edition. Even stronger and wider. Smart goes electric in a large-scale trial with 100 little smarts pounding the pavement in Berlin. Maybe a good idea for big Italian cities too. Peugeot once again showcases the new 308cc which already debuted in Paris along with a facelifted 107. Technology of the future with stunning styling, the Peugeot RC Hybrid. Look out, here come some cars made in India. In Italy, the Mahindra is already on the market. Tata has also been around longer. The popular Indica is already available as green models, as bi-fuel, once as an LPG, and once as a CNG model. And a world premiere, the new Tata Indica Electric. For Citroën, the trip to Italy was also worthwhile. 
along for the show, the new C3 Picasso. And the Hypnos, a real crowd stopper already at the Paris Motor Show. Even with all of its current difficulties, Opel staged some premier showings for the strong Italian market. The Insignia with its three new body variants. And the new Safira Echo with its CNG turbo engine. General Motors also dared present a daunting dream of a super sports car with its Corvette ZR1. Almost a bit like a Ferrari. Just as fast as a Ferrari, Lamborghini. For the first time in Europe, the new Gallardo Spider LP560-4 and its siblings are no less brilliant to look at. The Gallardo for the world's fastest single brand trophy and the world's fastest police. With a typical red of Alfa Romeo and magnificent shapes, we now say Arrivederci Bologna 2008. <laughs>